With only two weeks until Queenslanders head to the polls, both sides have showed some interesting campaign tactics. Nine's election commentators, Spencer Jolly and Peter Beattie, filed this report, issuing a challenge to the leaders. Returning to the political rumble, hey! one of the bolder personalities in Queensland politics. Hey! Community pastor and martial arts instructor Chris Foley, thrown out last election, is fighting to reclaim the seat of Maryborough. I'm fighting fit and ready to rumble. Throwing people around, I'm not sure what that proves. Acknowledged master of campaigning, Peter Beattie knows colour and personality are big pluses. How much does personality and feel contribute to a campaign? They're absolutely crucial. Policy is important, strategy is important, but people like to vote for somebody that they can relate to. You get out in the record books for the most shameless of political stunts, swimming with sharks, for heaven's sake. Look, it was an important opportunity to promote a business on the Sunshine Coast, but more importantly... And promote you. <laughs> that audacious election style propelled Peter Beatty into the Premier's seat four times, giving the plush leather the once over again, just for old time's sake, I'm assured. Any hankering to get your old job back and sit in the Premier's seat? Ah, uh, Spence, none at all. I need a lobotomy to get back into that chair. Really? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Once there, twice shy. The chair's current occupant is displaying confidence in the campaign and even flashes of homespun showmanship, while the woman who would be Premier took to the water and revelled in a fish feeding frenzy. She should have taken a leaf out of your book, shouldn't she, and mixed it with a fish? Well, at least you could have put on some snorkels and, and flippers and that would have driven home the message. Both leaders, though, straight-faced when repeatedly asked whether they would be prepared to deal with independents to get them over the line and into government. No, 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 no deals. We cannot have a hung parliament. Surely they're telling porkies. Oh, absolutely. Who's going to knock back an opportunity to form government? Lawrence Springborg and I both took lie detector tests in 2004. I challenge both the leaders to take a lie detector test because that way they'll have to confess to Queenslanders, of course they'll negotiate. And you'd supervise the uh, session? Absolutely. You and I could do it together. I'd be delighted to supervise it, impartially, of course. There you have it, invitation issued. Now are the leaders bold enough to take up the challenge? Spencer Jolly, Nine News.